In this video, we will look at line symmetry of polygons. This includes different types of triangles, quadrilaterals, and regular polygons. Here is an isosceles triangle. It has one line of symmetry from the top vertex to the centre of the base. A line of symmetry is a line that divides a shape into two halves, where each half is an exact mirror image of the other. If we cut out a piece of paper in the shape of an isosceles triangle, we could fold it in half along the line of symmetry, and the two halves would match up exactly. Not all shapes have lines of symmetry. For example, a scaling triangle, where all the sides and angles are different, has no lines of symmetry. There is no way to fold the triangle in half so that the two halves match up. Some shapes have more than one line of symmetry. For example, an equilateral triangle has a line of symmetry from the top vertex to the centre of the base, just like an isosceles triangle. It also has lines of symmetry from the other two vertices to the opposite sides. This makes three lines of symmetry. A square has a vertical line of symmetry between the centres of the top and bottom sides. It has a horizontal line of symmetry between the centres of the left and right sides. It also has a line of symmetry along each diagonal. That is a total of four lines of symmetry. A rectangle has a vertical line of symmetry, similar to a square. It also has a horizontal line of symmetry. Unlike squares, rectangles don't have diagonal lines of symmetry. A trapezium has no lines of symmetry. An isosceles trapezium is one where the two sloping sides have equal but opposite angles. It has one vertical line of symmetry. A parallelogram has no lines of symmetry. A rhombus is a parallelogram in which all four sides are equal. It has two lines of symmetry, one along each diagonal. The two pairs of adjacent sides of a kite have equal length. This makes it symmetrical along one of its diagonals, so it has one line of symmetry. A regular pentagon has a line of symmetry between any vertex and the middle of the opposite side. The same is true whichever vertex we choose. Since there are five vertices, there are five lines of symmetry. A regular hexagon has a line of symmetry between the middle of any side and the middle of the opposite side. The same is true whichever side we choose. Since there are three pairs of sides, this creates three lines of symmetry. A regular hexagon also has a line of symmetry between any vertex and the opposite vertex. The same is true whichever vertex we choose. Since there are three pairs of vertices, this creates three lines of symmetry. So a regular hexagon will have six lines of symmetry in total. In general, a regular polygon with n sides will have n lines of symmetry. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can find more resources at graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.